Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how I apply striping tape. I've got my tip and I've just buffed it with this sand turtle buffer to remove the surface shine. And I'm going to use this Magpie Hollow Striping Tape and I got that uh, from Pro Beauty 2016 I think. And I'm going to try out this... Um, Crystal Nails Firm Brush today. Um, I'm going to use the RO5 Royal Gel, which is with a nice pink colour. Um, I'm just going to apply this all over the nail. So I'm trialling this brush because you may remember, or you may not remember, um, I was using the Nero Merle One Brush um, from Crystal Nails. It's one of the black ones and it was really um, firm and it was leaving lots of brush strokes and brush marks in my um, colour and it just didn't look right so I'm trying some softer brushes. I've got the Nero Melo 2 which I do like but I also bought this one I'm just going to try them and see how I feel about them. So yeah, <laughs> um, once that's applied all over the nail I only need one coat and I will not need top coat. That's not out of the lamp. So, if you can see, there's different widths and thicknesses of this striping tape. And I'm going to use one of the thinner ones. So, the, sh the trick with striping tape is to not touch it. <laughs> so, I've got my peri tweezers. And then I'm just going to use my stalk scissors to cut it. You want to cut it wide, wider, longer even, than your tip um, and apply it onto the nail without touching it. Now in a minute you're going to see that I will touch this with my finger but I am touching the very end of the tape and it's not part of the tape that will go on the nail. If you touch your striping tape that is going onto the nail, what you do is you transfer the oils from your fingers onto the back of the striping tape and it will lose its stick, it will have like an oily residue there and that can lead to um, your striping tape peeling away. Um, a foolproof method for striping tape um, I don't know why I'm holding that tip upside down, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Um, a foolproof way is to in encapsulate it, so embed it in either acrylic or hard gel. Um, yeah. Because I'm only working on a tip, I'm just going to do it into gel polish, but if I was doing this on a client, I would 100% this would be capped in hard gel, and it's not going anywhere. Um... But I need to put an order in for some more hard gel, so I'm not wasting my hard gel. <laughs> you can, you know, you can fix striping tape into place with gel polish. I'm not saying you can't, but me, for my own peace of mind, on a client, 100% uh, encapsulated. So that is the finished look. There's some pictures here and some clips at the end. Um, there's a little gap at the top with the cuticle area that just reflects that it's hard to get it flushed in the cuticle area and people would usually add crystals or swarovskis. So I'm going to leave that video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not and I will see you in the next video.